Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you how to compile data um, from surveys. So here we can see um, a survey when it was administered, I think it had about 30 something questions, 38 questions. Um, we have 28 respondents so far, so this was done for a principal. And what she was looking to do is compile the data. Now it's impossible to compile words in the data because she wanted to create a, a diagram out of it. Not going to happen. Um, so what we're going to do today, we're going to change all of these words into numbers and then uh, make a beautiful graph out of it. Shouldn't take too, too long. So we're gonna look at a little bit of scripting as well. So I'll just start over here um, with the sheets. And I'm gonna say question one. And I'm also gonna say that this kind of survey was a little bit different. So it was one of those surveys where you have multiple questions and each one of those questions represents something. So. This one represented a confidence, conversation, engagement, but only if you answered certain questions the right way. So for every one of the questions, uh, members of the kit of the team admit that they made errors. If you put one, that means never, two, that means rarely, three, that means sometimes, four, normally, and five is always. So I'm gonna need this data if I wanna actually use those numbers. So I'm just gonna paste this down here to help me for a second. All right, so I have that. Actually, let's move that up. Let's put that up here. So now for question one, what I want to do, I want to count if. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to return to my questionnaire. I'm going to say count if in question one. So I'm going to select the B. So it's going to select the whole row of B, which means that if someone else fills out the questionnaire, um, all of the answers will update themselves automatically in my diagram and in all my data that I'm taking out. So if in column B, I have the answer Jamais. Let me try that again. If uh, count if in column B, I get the answer jamais, which means never in French. So here I can see that nobody responded uh, never for the first question. Now instead of recopying and restarting everything, what I did here, I just dragged the square from the bottom here. Maybe I'll redo it for you guys. Go from the square, drag it down, and then you'll have this same script, which is copied. Now we want to tweak the script a little bit because the words that we're looking for are different in every one of the questions. So here we'll go Rahma, which is a rarely, three people responded that. And then we'll go here to parfois, sometimes, habitually, habituellement. And then we'll go into here and we'll go into toujours. Now, as we were looking here, we saw that every one of these answers corresponded to a certain point amount. So here I'm going to write points. And I'm going to say that this equals the sum. So sum is whenever you're adding things together. So now we have a whole bunch of numbers, but every one of these numbers means something different. So I'm going to add together if someone says question one, so if they answer with never for question one, then they get one point according to this diagram here. So that's the questionnaire itself. And then we're gonna add here. So if someone answered rarely, then they get two points. And if someone answered uh, sometimes, then they get three points, et cetera, et cetera. I guess I should probably finish that, etc. Plus this times four, and then lastly, plus this times five. Now here, I don't have to add a whole bunch of parentheses separating each one of the questions because uh, PEDMOS will take over and it'll do all the calculations properly so I get my points of 91. Now that took a little bit of time to do one question. So let's make our life easy, and again, let's select everything, and instead of copying it down, let's copy it to the right this time. And what it'll do, it'll analyze and give us all the answers for every single one of the questions. That's pretty nice. That didn't take too long at all. Now, as I was mentioning at the end, you have to compile all this data, and you have to look at every question individually. Now, this too can take quite a bit of time. So we'll see here that to demonstrate confidence, um, you you're going to tally up the score to those eight questions, add your total, 
divide it by eight. Now you're going to divide it by the numbers just in the survey because here you have seven questions and there you have eight, so that only makes it fair. So I'm just going to copy this to, to help me out a little bit. So I'm going to look at confiance first, and then I'm going to look at, I have no idea what that says, conversation and engagement. So now for confidence, I can see that I'm looking to sum, so I want to make the total of question one, so my 91 points that I've calculated, and my question six, and question 10, but I didn't answer that one yet, so we're going to forget that. And then I have to divide it by eight. Well, here, because we only had two questions, let's divide it by two. Beautiful. 101, looking good so far. All right, so let's go into conversation now. Conversation, we're looking at different questions. So let's do the sum again. The sum of question two, four, five, and seven. So two plus question four plus question five plus question seven. Let's close that up and then let's divide it by we have four answers here, so let's divide it by four. And then we have our overall tally. So I'm pretty sure it's out of 100. I imagine that's what it's out of. Um, 94.2596. So respondents are pretty darn talkative and pretty confident as well. So now how do I turn that into a graph? Well, all that you have to do is select your data, click on the graph icon, select graph, and then we're going to make a bar graph out of this. And let's insert it. So you can see here, uh, that is pretty close. That's not too hard to analyze. And as I mentioned before, we did all of this programming. Yes, it took a little bit of time, but not as long as counting everything. And on top of that, if, say I change my data in here, which means more people are responding, I'm getting more results, I'm getting higher numbers in here. All that I have to do is if I change my number, so it'll change automatically, as I said, just this is just an example, you'll see that the graph changes automatically in real time as well. So once you set it all up, you sit back, you relax, and you're good to go. Hope it helped you guys out. Have a good day.